Hello, so the next song I'm going to do today is Pitching Up by Resolution 88 from the album Revolution. So I'm going to go straight into it. So this one's in 7 8, it's in the key of C, although it starts in the key of A as an intro, but it's the same bass line slowed down in the key of A for the intro. But I'm going to go straight into the what I call the A section, the main first section, and it goes like this. So that's the first A section slowed down in the key of C for you to hear. As you can see, it kind of jumps around a lot on the neck. And it's a four bar loop, okay? So once you've got those four bars, uh, you've pretty much got the first section down. So I'm gonna break it down how I play it. So I start on the 10th fret of the D string, which is the note C. So I go C to F. So all the 10th fret, so 10th fret D string, 10th fret G string. Then C again, and then E flat, which is the 8th fret, yeah? So C, F, C, E flat, C, and then G, which is the 10th fret of the A string. And then C, an octave down on the 8th fret of the E string. And then I jump down to play the A flat here on the fourth fret of the E string, and then the fifth fret of the E string to play the A. So the whole thing, the first bit, is like this. And then for the next bar, I stay in this area of the bass. I go straight to a G where I play on the fifth fret of the D string. So I play this, G, C, B flat, and then G again, and then D, and then B flat to B natural. Again, just like the first video, there is a PDF with the tab and the score for this song. So have a look at that. I'm just gonna explain briefly what I've done. So I'm gonna play, I've played a G to a C to a B flat, back to G, and then a D, and then B flat to B. So that's the second bar. And then the third bar is the same as the first bar. So we've got that down. And then the last bar is... So it's C to E flat. So I'm playing here on the third fret of the A string to the first fret of the D string. To F, third fret of the D string. Back to E flat then C, and then F, first fret of the E string, to G, third fret of the E string. So the way I count this, so it goes one, two, three, four. So I kind of think of it as 4-4, four, four, sort of, like over two bars. I, I tend not to really think about that part anymore now that I've learned it, but that's how I initially tackled it. And I, I like to accent the third note of the first bar. And then on the, the second bar, it's kind of even. And then the last one, 
I like to, to accent the second note. So after we repeat that five times, we go into the B section. And the B section is in the key of A flat minor. So I'll show you the bass line there. So A flat, I play on the fourth fret of the E string. And then the sixth fret of the A string. Going to the nine of the chord, which is B flat in this case. And I like to play it here on the G string, on the third fret. Maybe a bit clearer. That's the whole line. So I go, after the B flat, I go back to the, to the E flat here on the sixth fret of the A string. Because then I, I, I keep the whole line in one kind of area of the neck to kind of play it a bit more efficiently. Because this one, I find it quite difficult if it's too fast. Sometimes our drummer likes to get excited in gigs and stuff, and he counts this one off a little bit too fast, and I just can't make that line come out kind of well and in time. It's kind of something like that comes out instead. But I guess now I've got time to practice my chops and get that up to speed, even if we do it a bit faster than the record. Anyway, so that's the riff for the B section. So it's A flat, E flat, B flat, E flat, and then A flat an octave up, and then down to E flat, and then A flat again. And then there's three A flats there. So that happens for the B section. There's one fill, which goes like this, which is one bar fill. So I play G flat going to B natural and back to G flat and then B flat to E flat, E flat to A and then A to A flat. So that's the fill and that comes in the sixth bar of the of the B section. And then the only other thing that happens in the B section, the line in A flat goes down to F. So it's the same line, but just in the key of F. So I play exactly the same kind of shape, but I use an open string for the for the nine or the note G. So I go F, C, G, C, F, C, F, 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 okay? And then there's a fill here, which I do on the 11th fret. Bringing us back to the A section again. So it goes A flat to D flat, and then back to A flat, then D flat, to A flat, A flat again, to D flat, and then to C. So it's it repeats the same notes quite a lot, but it's it's just getting the, the rhythm right. And then we're back to the A section again, the same bass line. Okay. So after the second A section, what happens is there's a breakdown section, which you can follow from the tab or the score, or you can check out my take, which I've put in the description of this video, and then you can do your own. And please share your take with the hashtag ResoJam so we can find it and check it out. And it'll be really cool. Now the last bit that I'd like to show you is the outro. I use a big muff pedal. Here's a picture of it. I kind of use the setting that is there in the picture pretty much. I'm first going to play the line without the fuzz and then I'll play it with so you can hear how it sounds. After a, a, a short drum bake, about six bars, I come in with the outro. So it goes. So that is the first line of the outro. So I play it's D flat, G flat, the 
then D flat again, then E, then D flat, A flat, so D flat, A flat, D flat, an octave lower, so that's the, the, the whole thing, and then B natural, up to D flat, okay? And then the second part is a variation on that. So I do. So the only difference is there. I do a D flat to E to G flat, back to E, back to D flat. And then it's the same as the, as the last one. Okay. That's the first one. This is the second one. The third bar is, it's the first one again, and then the only variation is the very last one of these. I do a big E power chord on the offbeat of the, the next bar, yeah, so. So on the offbeat, I play an E and a B as a power chord, so like uh, seventh fret and ninth fret. This is what it sounds like with the big muff on. So that's it. So I do that a couple of times and then that part just builds and builds and builds and I kind of explore other ideas and things to do in, in the key of D flat. Mainly kind of a pentatonic, minor pentatonic. That kind of thing. And build it, build it, build it. loads of noise until it gets to a big crescendo and then it just stops. And that's the end of the song.